Wow, the heat wave in Europe this season. Come on, let's go to the beach. Hello, Fit Family. All right, so I so said, let me come in here and open this vlog. Okay, so today is Sunday, and man, <laughs> it is hot. It is super, super hot here in Greece. I don't know about your country. Please leave it in the comment section. Let me know how hot it is in your country. It's about 40 degrees here in Greece, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so it is super hot. Look at me. I am all sweaty. <laughs> and I'm just coming out from the shower. Anyways, I decided to come in here and open this vlog because I'm going to the beach right now. We're just going to go chill there for like an hour, just swim and have fun and all that. Just to cool off a little bit because staying in home with this heat, it is super crazy. All right, so come along with me as we go over to the beach to swim and have some fun. Okay, okay, so here I am. <laughs> yeah, I did change my hair. Let me know which one do you prefer, this one or the one I was wearing before. Okay, so time to go get on the bike and start heading out. It's Right. All right, let's go. Let's hit the road. Okay, so I apologize for those sounds of like cricket. It's not actually cricket. It's something that the Greeks call Gigi, you know, Gigikos, whatever. It's full in summertime. It's some kind of insect that is making noise. So I'm sorry for that noise. Okay, so here we are. We're on our way to the beach. It's on Sunday. This happened on Sunday. Okay, so I decided to just carry you, you people along with me to the beach because the weather was so, so hot. And now, mind you, this is like... Okay, so this is like 5 in the evening, like 5 or past 5 to 6, and the sun is still hot and it's just <laughs> weird. I'm telling you, the heat wave in Europe is something else. Okay, so let's go to the beach and just swim and cool off. All right, so right now we're going to a town called Aya Marina. That's where they have, it ha like this beach in Aya Marina has like shallow waters. It is not as deep as the one in Platanias. So we like going there with the little one so she can just swim and um, she can run around, play in the water and the water is like shallow. So it's like up to her waist or her knee so she can run around and just have fun. So hence we're going to Aya Marina. Okay, so right here on this road that we're going down, you can see by my left, there's a big hotel that goes all the way from the road down to the beach. And they have like some beds and stuff like that. And to my right, you can see the Red Havana. This is a very popular place also for people that are um, having their vacation, the holidays in Greece, you know, summer holidays in Greece. People love visiting Red Havana. And I will show you the next one. Please watch this video till the end. And if you're just coming across this channel for the first time, please do subscribe, like, and share the video. If you love contents like this, stick with the family because I will be giving you more of such contents, okay? This was requested by a subscriber. I should do a beach vlog. So here it's the beach vlog. Okay, so as I was saying, Red Havana is somewhere that people love visiting when they are in uh, Hanya area. Okay, the island of Crete. Non-Greek speaking people call it Crete, but the Greeks call it Crete. Okay, so if you're visiting Crete or Crete, uh, people love visiting this area. Okay, this is Red Havana. Now, mind you, it is kind of empty because this is like five, six in the evening. That's one reason. Secondly, because of the pandemic, the uh, Greek government opened their borders late and they had so many rules. So not many people were able to travel. A uh, few years, let's say two, three years before the pandemic, this area used to be filled up. You cannot even find the space. You cannot find any sunbed. And I'm talking about from the beginning till the end, like miles and miles and miles. You see different uh, businesses, different shops with different colors of umbrellas, sunbeds and all that. Like different businesses have different umbrellas that, like you can see here. You can see that this shop, this one here, they have like orange umbrellas, sunbeds. The other one has like more of the tropical, you know, uh, touch house roof and uh, like um, turquoise bed and stuff like that but we we love sitting on this rock now if you if you watch my previous vlog when I was showing you people walking by the beach um, I showed this area but then it was in um, 
uh, spring. Yes, it was springtime, so it was empty. No one was here. We were just walking on the beach, myself and my daughter. I will put the link to that other vlog here so you can see the difference. Sorry for that. In summertime, the bikes are driving and they're going all crazy. <laughs> Okay, so we love sitting on this rock whenever we come to this area because it is just more comfortable, like there's more space, and um, that's just what we love doing. So we put our stuffs on the rock, spread our, our towel, and we just go to swim. That's what we do. So this is like our sport, and some other people too love, you can see some other people have their stuff on the rock also. Okay, so here I am trying to give you people a 360 spin for you to see. Now it is so, so hot. I really cannot wait to get into the water. But come on, content creator, what can I do? I have to show you. So if you're someone that you want to visit Greece, you have like an idea of where you want to go to. And if coming to Hanya is one of the places that you want to visit, then watching this video gives you like an idea what to expect when you get to Hanya, the island of Crete or Crete. Okay, so I'm doing my best not to put the camera in people's faces because there are so many kids and um, families and just people here and I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable even though it's the beach I have the right to film whatever I want to film like there is a drone flying overhead as I'm filming this video actually but yeah because I'm holding my camera I kind of make people uncomfortable you know that so yeah I'm just trying to use my family as a point of, uh, you know, <laughs> wherever they go, I turn the camera so I can show you people also. So here, my little one, you can see she's busy running around. This madam, she loves, loves, loves to swim. She loves to go to the beach. She just loves anything that has to do with water. If you're taking her to the pool, you're taking her to the beach, she just doesn't mind. Just take her to where she can find small water to jump on, play, sand, and things like that. And it's just... Ah, you've made her day. Okay, so right here, we stopped to talk to a friend, and he has a, his son, and both of them were just running around there, hence where I'm here showing you people. So this is Red Havana. This uh, place with the uh, turquoise sunbed is Red Havana. That's what the place is called, Red Havana. Okay. All right, so now we're taking a walk by the beach. So I want to show you all how the beach in this um, Aya Marina area looks like. Okay, because some other parts you have like places like um, Balos. Uh, you have Balos has like white sand. You have Elafoni Sea. Elafoni Sea has like white and pink sand. Uh, you have Falasana also with white sand. Like they have so many beautiful areas in this island of Crete. Now, mind you, the island of Crete is the biggest Greek island. Okay, so you have like many options. You have even if you're visiting like the south side of Crete, you can go to the west. You can go to, it is just big island with beautiful beaches and places to visit. Okay, so here is a water sport. They have like water sports here. So if you're someone that you love stuff like that, or even though you've not tried water sports before, if you're on holiday, you're on vacation with your family or with your friends or your partner, whatever the case may be, you know, it will be a fun thing to just try this um, water sport. Okay, my sister and I used to work with this water sport stuff for like 15 years. Uh, not this one, but some other one. Like they have so many water sports in this area that is open in summertime, like only in summertime. So yes, people love to go on the boats and all that. Okay, now we're coming to um, this next one that has like Czech blue and white stripe um, birds and white umbrellas. This place is called... Cabana Me. Okay, so if you search this, this is a very popular place in Hanya. Okay, when you search Cabana Me, you see a whole lot of tourists from different European countries tagging this place. When they visit this place, they tag it. I don't know if one of these days, if I can go inside, I will do so, so I can show you people how the inside looks. Now, trust me, Cabana Mare is very, uh, the Greek love to call it Cabana Mare. You know, I think it's a European thing that they say their words differently okay but <laughs> non speak will say cabana mare okay all right whichever way you want to uh, pronounce it okay uh, that being said cabana mare is very beautiful place okay it is a very beautiful place like you just relax they have like jacuzzi they have the pool and then you can choose to stay by the beach just like so as you see people here they have like this tall uh, uh palm tree looking trees here 
uh it's just so beautiful in there they bring people to dance all these people that dance on like a rope i don't know I, i'm not sure if you know what that dance that uh, stuff is called put it in the comment section like they they tie yourself in like a uh, fabric and the fabric is coming down from the roof down and stuff like that yeah they bring they bring belly dancers they bring fun djs they throw night parties and look let me tell you something if you've come to this area the ladies the guys it's like a competition of who has the best body who has their best look the ladies are all in their brazilian swimsuit i'm telling you those ones that cut into the bum bum okay so <laughs> i'm telling you summertime in greece you just have to up your game or else you'll be feeling like what am i the only one that is left out so it's really fun uh here in greece okay so here you can see if you look all the way down you can see different umbrellas and people all in the beach okay and uh they have like so many boats carrying people around also going for boat trip uh, glass boats glass bottom boat you know to, so you can see as they're driving you around you can see the bottom of the sea and stuff like that so there's just so many fun things to do in the island of crazy if you're visiting greece okay so come on, if you've not planned any vacation to Greece or you do not have it in your bucket list, I'm telling you to add it because one, the country is extremely beautiful. Two, the country is warm so you don't have to uh, worry yourself about cold and being extremely cold so you cannot go out to do things. The country is extremely warm, okay? And now in summer season, it is hot. We have like 40 degrees. That's not even a joke. I said it in the beginning and I'm not even joking. It is super, super hot. Like you have to take a shower like five times or six times in a day. And even that, you're still sweating, okay? All right, so book your trip, your next trip and come visit Greece. And if you do so, don't forget to stop by my channel and let me know how it was for you now the people are very friendly okay so you're not even going to be bothered about how you're going to be treated if you visit the country they are very friendly and very nice to strangers okay all right so that being said and if you are someone that you really do love nature you want to see the beauty of nature there is just so many things to do in greece there's so many uh, stuffs to explore there's so many places to go to there is so many historical places to visit that i cannot even count all of them on this video even if i want to okay so a lot of fun stuffs to do so yes this is just how i spent my sunday because uh walking out going to the gym and every other thing that i have to do during the week so weekends for me it's like oh yeah am i going to the pool am i going to uh the beach but this season most hotels are not accepting uh people to come in okay so if you're not lodged in a hotel you're not allowed they just have it for just the tourists and stuff like that so yes yeah, so it's mostly going to the beach for me this uh season because of the pandemic you know all right that being said at this point they ran and left me behind and i could not really run because i was holding my camera i didn't want the camera to be shaking too much because i'm handling my camera on one hand and i'm holding some stuff on my other hand hence you can see that it is shaking and i apologize for that because uh yeah i'm just holding the camera and i'm not using um uh, a tripod okay so hence my hands are shaking okay so here she started running around again she's playing okay so now this place we're approaching now it's called amos kehelios it has um that's in greek amos kehelios uh, it's like a sun something to do with the sun that's the meaning because helios is like sun so it's like something to do with the sun um okay that's the name of this place and this place is very busy and uh let me tell you something the difference between this amos kehelios and cabana mare is that Cabana Mare has more tourists like there, and Amos Kehelios has more of Greeks. So it's almost like if you want to go to a place where you will see more of the indigenes, uh, then you go to Amos Kehelios. I'm not saying that they don't go to Cabana, but they, you will see more Greeks in Amos Kehelios, which is this one you see in front of me, than the one that I showed you before that had the white umbrellas and blue umbrellas. So the red Havana and uh cabana mer they both have more of tourists and few uh greeks 
in such places okay but of course you're going to find greeks there also because they have greeks that are coming from maybe athens thessaloniki uh, uh cyprus and all those other uh, area constantinopolis all those all those other areas that uh, of greece you know other greek islands that they want to visit uh crete because people travel from one area to the other just to change you know during summer period some people travel because of work they get their work from the island or mainland depending on where they stay all right so thank you very much for joining me for now i'm out